Let me continue on immigration. It was what you wanted to talk about earlier, so let's get back to your deportation uh, uh, proposal that the vice president has reacted to as well. Uh, president Trump, you call this the largest domestic deportation operation in the history of our country. You say you would use the National Guard. You say if things get out of control, you'd have uh, no problem using the U.S. With military. Local police, yes. uh, you also said you would use local police. Uh, how would you uh, deport 11 million undocumented immigrants? I know you, you believe that number is, is much higher. Uh, take us through this. What does this look like? Will authorities be going door to door in this country? Yeah, it is much higher because of them. They allowed criminals, many, many millions of criminals. They allowed terrorists. They allowed common street criminals. They allowed people to come in, drug dealers, to come into our country. And they're now in the United States and told by their countries, like Venezuela, don't ever come back or we're going to kill you. Do you know that crime in Venezuela and crime in countries all over the world is way down? You know why? because they've taken their criminals off the street and they've given them to her to put into our country. And this will be one of the greatest mistakes in history for them to allow. And I think they probably did it because they think they're going to get votes, but it's not worth it because they're, they're destroying the fabric of our country by what they've done. There's never been anything done like this at all. They've destroyed the fabric of our country. Millions of people let in and all over the world, Crime is down all over the world except here. Crime here is up and through the roof, despite their fraudulent statements that they made. Crime in this country is through the roof. And we have a new form of crime. It's called migrant crime. And it's happening at levels that nobody thought possible. President Trump, as you know, the FBI says overall violent crime is actually coming down in this country. But Vice excuse President me, Harris, the FBI I'll give you defraud the they were defrauding statements. They they didn't include the worst cities. They didn't include the cities with the worst crime. It was a, a fraud, just like their number of eight hundred and eighteen thousand jobs that they said they created turned out to be a fraud. President Trump